One of the core competencies of a great coach is the ability to powerfully question. Why is that? Because a great question leaves the other person thinking. A great question can broaden someone's perspective. A great question might help someone move from being in a really fixed, stuck place to maybe even being a little more flexible. A great question can support um, getting out of the problem and really focusing on what the resolution is. But what makes a great question a great question? Well, it actually first starts with who the coach is being. If the coach is simply asking a question because they think they know the answer, the person being coached will kind of see right through that. And it will feel like um, the coach is trying to dominate the other person. So it really starts with the coach being truly, truly curious and willing to consider that whatever their answer is, is not the answer of the person who they're speaking to. So there's curiosity. Also that the question is clear and direct. So it's not really long, doesn't have a lot of qualifiers. It might be a question like, what's the difference? Or what's your vision? Or how's your plan looking? Or who do you want to be about this? Or what's your highest and best? Or tell me about your goal? Or what are you resisting? Or what could you give up in this instance? What would flexibility look like? I mean, I could go on and on. The thing is that the question is simple and it's direct. Also notice that it's usually open. So I'm not saying, is it this or is it that? Are you late because you didn't have a babysitter or was it traffic? That's actually a manipulation in communication. So in coaching, we try to keep it really open. There are some exceptions. There are clarifying questions. Tell me what this is about. Or is it about this or that? There are directional questions. Where do you want to go with this? Um, is this the way you want to go? So you're trying to get a yes or a no. And then accountability questions tend to be more closed off. Are you willing to do this? That's a yes or no. When will you do it by? That's a definitive time. So there are times when coaches use closed questions, but most of the time they're pretty open because the idea is that you're being curious and collaborating with the person that you're coaching and open to whatever they have to say and you're just gonna go with whatever that is, right? So there's some other things about what makes a great question a great question. In addition to that, they're direct and they're clear and they're simple and they're open. They're without judgment. So you'll, you will rarely hear a coach say, well, why? Tell me why you did that, right? Because that just feels judgmental. The only time we use why is when we're trying to get to someone's values. So why is that important to you? You might hear a coach say, but other than that, leave the word why out. Why is gonna get you reasons and stories and concepts, and it will not support or empower the person that you're working with. Um, so the other thing about great questions is they're based in the here and now. They're not very past based. So what a coach cares about is where are you now and where do you want to be? What's happening now? And what do you want to have happen? So it's about the here and now and the future. So we ask a lot of vision questions. What does that look like in a year? How does this look when it's resolved? What does mastery in this area look like? What is it that you will have learned once this is done? Those are all called vision questions and we use those a lot because when someone becomes really present to their vision, they become less present or aware of the so-called problem. And coaches don't peddle in problems. We really peddle in possibility. I invite you to do the coaching clinic with us and learn more about asking great questions.